What's the most f***ed up game of truth or dare you've ever had? I was first up and they dared me to leave and go home. Getting a bit buzzed I asked one of the standard questions. Have you ever had a sexual experience with someone of the same sex? After some doubting he answered with, when I was 4 my cousin raped me. And that was the end of that night. This girl was dared to kiss me or lick the toilet. She licked the toilet. It was truth or dare at a girlfriend's house back in HS. And she has a really nice house. Me, two guy friends, and two girlfriends. It eventually led to daring the girls to go into the shower naked, which could fit quite a few people for a shower actually. One girl dared the one guy to get naked, the other girl dares the other guy to get naked, and I'm sitting there with my boxes on. No one bothered to dare me anything after that, they were having a foursome in the shower. I was sitting in the bedroom adjacent to the bathroom in my boxes. That hurt. Play truth or dare with some friends at a party. I got dared to kiss all of the girls there and none wanted to fuck me. We, three guys and three girls, were all in the hot of at this chick's house playing truth or dare, and I get dared to go mash my slash balls up against her parents' bedroom window. Granted, it's like 1am, and the whole house is completely dark, so I thought it would be no big deal. Get out of the hot tub, run over to the window, drop my suit, and smash my junk up against the window for a few moments. Then, in the reflective light of the pool, I catch a glimpse of her parents sitting right inside the window, watching us from inside. They didn't even blink, just just watched me. It was f***ing terrifying. Terrifying. Like, I saw them for a split f***ing second as the light passed over the glass, just inches away from my mashed up f*** on the other side of the window. Something from a horror movie. I gasped and ran back to the hot tub, got back in, and just sat there in complete silence. A couple minutes later, her dad comes outside laughing, hands me a beer, and then reminisces with all of us for a minute about the crazy shit he did when he was a kid. I've never felt a shock, like I did, when I saw their faces. It still haunts me sometimes, but it all turned out better than expected. I was 25. I was hanging out with some friends one night and we were trying to think of a game to play. We wanted to play Monopoly, but we also wanted to play strip poker, but we also wanted to play truth or dare. Alcoholic beverages were involved, as you can imagine. So we invented what we called Ultimate Monopoly. It's played on a Monopoly board. The rules are. You start the game off with double the amount of money you normally start with in Monopoly. If someone lands on your property, whoever's property it is gets to ask the land a truth, dare, or strip. If you didn't want to perform whatever was asked of you, you could also pay the property tax to get out of it. Later, we instituted certain amounts of money that the property owner could pay to buy out the lander and force them to do a truth, dare, or strip. If you landed on free parking, you could either take all the money in free parking, get all your clothes back, or make everyone in the group remove an article of clothing. There were more rules than that, but those were the basics. We played until 6am. Shenanigans were had. Friendships were destroyed. We were all ass naked by the end 10 tenths would play again. Bud is having a party and invites me. Drinks were had and were all sufficiently bust. Bud is turn passes and he spins the bottle. Lands on a girl hoss pretty and chesty. He dares her to let me have a shot from her cleavage. She agrees and pours a shot and then buries it in her cleavage. So him face deep in her t Literally struggling to grab this shot glass. I finally get it and try to get it out. It catches her shirt and spills all over her chest. I pull back and am apologizing. She looks at me and says nah you gotta finish the shot. I clean her up and look over at my buddy who nods to me. He is literally the best wingman ever. What started as a game of truth or dare turned into an orgy that then turned into a naked fist fight. Somewhere around 13 or so, I dare a friend, girl, to fart on my other friend, guy. She actually seemed excited. He seemed nervous and closed his eyes as he laid down onto the bed. So she squats over his face and lets go of one I didn't think she'd have in her. I see his eyes go wide and he knocks her off of him and runs towards the bathroom. By this point I'm laughing hysterically and she's slightly embarrassed. My dad walks out of the kitchen with his friends, asks what the hell happened as he's puking in the toilet. I told him, now she's incredibly embarrassed. 
from the bathroom we hear oh god I can still smell poo corn. Brella he had an odd vomiting sound. She left shortly after. Never have I ever at uni, or I have never as we called it. Found out the girl we lived with had a gangbang with 5 rugby players. She said it was amazingly hot hearing them all cheer each other on as they took turns f***ing her. We were playing never have I ever, and this French guy, exchange student, said something that sounded like, never have I ever shit on my girlfriend. After about 2 minutes of laughter his buddy helped, explain that he actually meant cheat. Damn you language barrier. Late to the party, but, very late at night we were playing truth or dare in my basement. We dared a guy to put on a wetsuit and a go-kart helmet, carry a wooden boat or wake up my mother and ask her where the peanut butter was. She woke startled and simply asked oh honey, what did you do? I feel like I should use a throwaway for this, but fuck it. I used to play this thing called the bag game when I was 19 and on into my early 20s. It's basically just the dare part of truth or dare, except everyone gets 5 dares, they write them on 5 slips of paper and throw them in the bag. The bag then goes around the circle one at a time, each person it passes picks a slip, and has to do whatever that slip of paper says. I think you get one pass per game. Anyway, here's what happened, a girl I was crushing on was sitting between me and an old friend, like known each other since middle school, she pulled a slip that said stick your hand down the pants of the person to your left and right and compare their genitals out loud for the group. She did exactly that. Basically, my friend and I got hand jobs under our pants in front of a group of our friends while the girl compared and contrasted our wangs. Okay I never wanted to tell anyone this, but I guess I will. Play truth or dare one time, and it was my turn, so I choose dare. They dared me to knock on my neighbor's door and run, but my neighbor saw me running away. My neighbor told my mom and I cried. Y'all got crazy lives. Truth or dare, would you rather marry fuck kill, cards against humanity, or any game like that at all? Okay, well this wasn't truth or dare, but never have I ever with me and some of my friends. Towards the end, it started getting pretty catty with one of my friends constantly saying specific things that would get one of my best friend eliminated. Like never have I ever sucked a guy off in a Starbucks bathroom, that kind of thing. So that's how I found out that this really good friend of mine had apparently f***ed my boyfriend on prom night after I decided to go home rather than lose my virginity to him. Good times. My brother got cards against humanity but hadn't played it before. We opened it up to play with my parents and aunt and uncle. I had to put a stop to him explaining what bukak is to my mom. Hanging out with a few girls from the ghetto side of town. Plenty of drunken shenanigans. Anyways a game of strip poker broke out in the kitchen. Some point in the night a random girl appeared, maybe a young looking 13, to ask her mom where something was. Pretty weird vibe already. When her mom said come play with us, I'll deal you in the next hand. Me and my buddy noped the f right out of there. This one isn't so crazy as others, just stupid teenager shit. Kid was dead to go into the bedroom where the parents were sleeping and start doing push ups. If asked what he was doing he would simply state, I'm doing this because I love my green nipples. I was dead to kiss my best friend, we are both males. He slobbered all over my face and tried to slip me the tongue. I pulled back and cried out, asking him what the hell he's doing while wiping his saliva off my face. He claimed that's how he thought you were supposed to kiss. He was a kissless virgin. This was in high school. I was his first kiss. Playing cards against humanity with my family, I know, and the black card is what ended my last relationship. Mum throws down a brain tumor. Shocked silence. Her and my dad divorced, partly because of the stress his brain tumor was putting on their marriage. He got better. Playing never have I ever with friends. One person said never have I ever had anal, and the girl sitting next to me quietly asked, does it count if it wasn't consensual? I think I was the only one who heard her, so I asked her about it later. Turns out she had been hooking up with her boyfriend. He went for the butt, she said no, and he didn't listen. They are not together anymore. We had a game we called truth or dare, asterisk. 
where the person given the dare absolutely had to go through with it, but they could impose a condition, as long as they still went along with the original dare, and the darer had to agree to it. The idea was that, as the darer, you wouldn't demand too much, as you could get screwed along with them. Later that evening, we were going to play a Wii eSports tournament, so I dared a girl in our group that I was hot for to do the whole tournament in her underwear, and she imposed the condition that I kiss the gay guy who was hot for me. I looked at him, back at her, then back to him, licked my lips and crawled over. It was truly worth it. Truth or dare? Truth. Who was your first f It was her dad and that's how we all learned why he was in prison. Spin the bottle at a house party in middle school. I was about 12 or 13. We had a rule where, if you land on someone three times, you have to make out, rather than just kiss. Of course the girl that I had a major crush on was there, which everyone knew. I land on her for the third time, but she just gives me the same half-assed peck on the lips she gave me the two times before. Everyone laughs at me, and she just kind of shrugs and joins them laughing. So fast forward to her turn, and for the first time she lands on my best friend. They both get up and have a sloppy makeout session right in the middle of the circle with everyone cheering them on and me just destroyed trying so hard not to cry. I get up and leave the party to sounds of awe Dave. Don't cry it's okay ha 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 ha. I can't for the life of me figure out why I did what I did next, but I walk down the street and throw dirt all over myself and come back to the party a half hour later and tell everyone I got jumped by some gangsters. Nobody believed me. Instead, they all pointed to the corner of the yard where my crush and my best friend were making out. I went into full ugly cry and walked home. The rest of the school year I had to deal with stuff like hey Dave's crush, can I borrow a pencil? Dave you gonna cry now. Truth or dare? Dare I dare you to sprint around the block naked okay? Comes speeding around the corner trips up entire front of his body has road rash. End game.